we are still with quantifiers. Last time we spoke about universal quantifiers. This time we shall go into existential quantifier. The key phrases to pay attention to when we are talking about existential quantifier are this. Some. There exists. There is. At least one. Some elements of set A is something. So when some elements of set A is something, then that means there is an element in A that is something. Or at least one element in A is something. So last time, we focused mainly on the universal quantifier. We translated or we wrote English sentences with math content into math sentences using math symbols. So we put many symbols together. Our symbols for sets, for elements, the common math symbols, and then we also used your connectives, disjunction, conjunction, and then your universal quantifier. So we shall continue. But this time, we will include existential quantifiers. For any non-zero real number x, there is a real number y such that x times y is equal to 1. For any non-real number x, so that is a universal quantifier. For any or for all. So, we, we will use that symbol here. There is. There is a real number y. We will use that symbol here. Okay, so let us put that together and we shall use your common math symbols for set membership. Okay, so how do we do that? For all real number x that is not equal to 0, there is another real number y such that x times y is equal to 1. Again, we are not concerned with the truth value of a statement. A statement can be false or it can be true. But that is not our concern. Our concern is to write sentences into math sentences. Letter B. For any real number x and y, if x is greater than y, then there is a real number w such that x is greater than w, but w is greater than y. For any real number x, that is the same as saying for all real number x and y. Again, our symbol for universal quantifier. Okay, so there's a connective here, if and then. So we shall use our symbol for implication. There is. That is an existential quantifier. There is. Okay, so let us write that in math sentence. For any real number x and y. If x is greater than y, then there is a real number w such that x is greater than w, but w is greater than y. Another one. Let a, b, and c be real numbers such that a is not equal to 0. There exists a real number x that satisfies this equation. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if and only if b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so this one is a universal quantifier. Okay, a, b, and c can be any real number, but a is not equal to 0. So that's again a universal quantifier. There exists a real number x that satisfies this, this equation. Now, look at this. If and only if, that is a connective, that is a biconditional that implies a biconditional statement, so we will use that connective, that symbol. Okay, so let us write a math sentence for this. Okay, so we will not read it verbatim. Okay, we will read it in such a way it sounds pleasant to our ears. For any real numbers A, B, and C, where A is not equal to zero, there is a real number X such that ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if and only if b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. 